welcome to the channel of Ecoholics. So in today's video, I will be teaching you how to find the value of slope coefficient estimators when you are given with a regression through origin. So what is a regression through origin? It's a special kind of functional form of my regression where I do not have an intercept term. Hence, where I do not have a minimum value which my dependent variable can take. So it is completely dependent on the values of my independent variable. So a regression through origin takes the form of equation written over here. So I will skip writing the intercept and I will try to write the relationship of dependent variable with independent only with the help of a slope parameter over here. So yi equals to beta xi plus mu i. This is the population regression function. Now to estimate it, I have to take help of sample regression function. So sample regression function is written in the next line. yi equals to beta hat xi plus mu i hat. Now I have done a video where I have taught how to derive the value of OLS estimators which can be used for every kind of functional form. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can go to the description box and you will find the link over there. So over there, I have complete the whole coverage, like how to do the derivative, how to write the functions, why are we minimizing such kind of functions. So it's going to be helpful for you. Please go and watch that first. Now, I'm writing mu i hat in terms of other variables. So taking this to the other side, it becomes yi minus beta hat xi. Now for OLS, as I told you, I will be requiring mu i square summation, doing the squaring both sides and then the summation. So this is my final value. Now I have to minimize this because when I will minimize my errors, I'm going to get my blue estimators, blue slope coefficient estimators according to the method of OLS. So I will now be minimizing this summation mu i square. How to minimize it? Try doing the derivative with respect to the variable for which you have to find out the value. So here I have to find out the value for beta. I will be minimizing with respect to beta. So when I will minimize it, I will do its derivative with respect to beta. 2 will come in front. Summation, this whole thing. Now 1 power will be left here. And when I do the derivative of the terms inside this bracket with respect to beta hat, I will be getting minus xi. So this is the derivative. I have written it on the next page here. Now I take minus here with 2. I am trying opening the bracket. So summation yi xi minus beta hat summation xi square. Minus 2 if it goes to the other side, it will also become 0. So what I am left with summation yi xi minus beta hat summation xi square equals to 0. Now just one more step and your answer will be here. Just take this term to the right hand side. So if you do that, you will be getting an equation summation yi xi equals to beta hat summation xi square. Now keep beta hat here and take the other term to the denominator over here. So I will get beta hat equals to summation xi yi upon summation xi square. So this is the value of slope coefficient in the case of regression through origin. If you will compare this value of slope coefficient here and with a simple regression, the linear regression model, you will feel a difference. In the, at that place, it is given by small xi yi summation small xi square. Like if I write it in a very simplistic form. So over there we have deviation form, but in regression through origin, we always have raw forms. So this was the method for deriving the slope coefficient in regression through origin. If you find this video helpful, please like it, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel. Also, I have done detailed videos on different functional forms about the interpretation of different slope coefficients. We have other videos as well on our app related to these topics. So you can download the app and can watch those videos. Thank you everyone for watching.